Hello everyone, Alec Elcher the SideQuest Gamer here, and I have a quick little update video. I know I just made one a few weeks ago, or just several days ago. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I just want to tell you people, the Sonic Colors collaboration is complete. It's so good, and I really want to share it with all of you. However, it's going to be on Innocent Christoph Gavin's channel, but we did agree to one thing. That I show off a little preview of the collaboration review I did with him on, you know, just a few seconds of it here. So, I hope you enjoy. Sonic Colors, one of the most beloved Sonic games, period. It's been claimed to have saved the entire franchise after a dark age of terrible games, and it sold gangbusters with both the Wii and DS versions selling over 1 million copies worldwide. For this review, we will be focusing all of our attention on the Wii version specifically, as Gavin and I will review the DS version separately way down the line. So based on what Gavin has already said about Sound and Color's reception, I mean, could it really be that good? Well, I'd like to share my personal history with Sonic Colors. I first saw it on that Nintendo Channel application on the Wii way past its release date. I searched Sonic and found ads for both the Wii and DS version of the game. They looked like fun, especially the Wii version, so I put it on my list of games I should check out for the Wii, and much later, I bought it off my friend for $10 and enjoyed it quite a bit when I popped it in when I got home from school. But it's been a while since I last played it. With you growing up with the Wii, what was your personal history with the game, Gavin? I remember being so freaking excited to play this game back in 2010. That year I had finally caught up on all of the Sonic games I hadn't played, so I was ready for something new. Before that, I played all of the classics through the GameCube, Sonic, Mega, and Gems collections, had loved and adored the likes of Sonic Adventure 1, 2, Heroes, and Shadow, and I got a 360 in 2008 with Sonic Unleashed. When I finally got my Wii in 2009, I played Secret Rings and Black Knight. So, yeah, I've had a long history with the franchise before Sonic Colors, but again, 2010 was the year that I had finally caught up with the franchise. Want to see the rest of the video? Again, go to his channel and see it there. He deserves all the ad revenue because he edited that behemoth of a video. <laughs> and, might I say, it was really good work he did up for the editing, especially those transitions. Anyways, I just want to update you on the Sonic Colors collaboration. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and remember to stay awesome.